I've gone out and uh, I've done here what what is possibly groundbreaking research in the area of refraction. Now, I don't think anybody has done this before. This is, I've never seen it before anyway. This is unique. Um, this is a day of high refraction and uh, getting a few of those days lately. This ship, this, this picture is taken from a height of 15 metres and uh, just by looking at the proportions of the ship, there's already some refraction going on there. But then I take another picture from lower down. Uh, very This second picture, I haven't showed it yet, but this second picture I will overlay is taken from right a few inches above the water. And I'll run this a little bit slower. Right, let's bring this into the middle and we'll blink test this this one right on the water, a few inches above the water and from 15 metres high. Now, the thing to note here is that the sea level appears to rise in relation to the cranes that are higher out of the water and they wouldn't be subject to the same amount of refraction as right over the water. So there is compression there. Now we know that there's a curve there, so this is actually loomed up over the curve. And even if you're not going to believe for religious reasons that there is a curve, then you have some explaining to do. So you need to explain how this can happen when there is no curve. That's definitely compressed. So you're going to have to work out how does that compression happen. So you're going to have to admit that there's refraction. Refraction that causes light to bend down, causing that to rise up and causing that compression. If you admit that there is that kind of compression and that kind of light bending, then you've destroyed every flat earth argument that's ever gone on about the geometric horizon and the, and the complete total lack of refraction on any of the observations that supposedly prove a flat earth. You always say that it, the observations don't match a geometric globe. Yes, that's right. We've always said that they don't because of refraction. So you're either going to have to admit that refraction here exists in this demonstration or you're going to have to come up with something else.